Soar across the land of Wisconsin, and it's possible to imagine that you've been transported to Europe, especially here in the picturesque village of New Glarus, which looks like a little slice of the Alps set down in the hills of southern Wisconsin. The town was founded in 1845 by immigrants from Glarus, Switzerland. Suffering from poverty at home, they came to America hoping to start new, more prosperous lives. Today, the town's residents are proud of their Swiss heritage and traditions. Nearby, at the new Glarus Brewery, members of a yodeler's club come to bathe the valley with the sounds of traditional Swiss alphorns. These long horns were once used in Switzerland by farmers to communicate with each other across remote valleys. Today, these alphorns are blown just for fun and to embrace the history of one European community that settled this state almost two centuries ago. Another group of settlers was responsible for inspiring Wisconsin's nickname, the Badger State. In the early 1820s, lead was discovered in what's now the town of Mineral Point. When word got out, immigrants from Cornwall, England flooded in, bringing with them expertise developed working deep shaft tin mines back home. Here on Merry Christmas Mine Hill, they dug more than 100 mines in their quest to reach the rich veins of lead below. Some miners, who didn't have any place to stay, ended up using sucker holes in the earth to use as shelters. Some can still be seen from the air. These primitive dwellings were called badger holes for the way Cornish miners burrowed like badgers. And that's how Wisconsin got its nickname, the Badger State. But the Cornish were also skilled stonemasons. They quarried their own limestone blocks to build these small but sturdy cottages that still line the town streets. One street is named Shake Rag, after a local legend that the wives of miners here used to summon their husbands home for dinner by waving dishcloths from their doorways. By 1835, the flood of immigrants into places like Mineral Point and New Glarus had pushed Wisconsin's population over the 10,000 mark, making it eligible to be declared a U.S. territory by Congress. A sliver of land between Lakes Mendota and Monona was chosen as the site of the new territory's capital. It was named Madison, in honor of the recently deceased President James Madison. Ten years later, in 1848, Wisconsin became America's 30th state, and Madison its new state capital.